Each year, tens of thousands of people come to Castro Street for the annual Castro Street Fair. This year, the fair turned 30 years old and paid tribute to a gay celebrity who some say is nearly forgotten by today's gay youth generation. But organizers of the Castro Street Fair refuse to let his legacy die with them. Tonight, we have a series of reports, but first, let's take a look at all the Castro Street Fair fun. What better place to round off a raucous year of anniversaries and jam-packed street fairs than in the heart of it all at the 30th anniversary of the Castro Street Fair. Oh, it's going great. The sun was out today, which is really nice. There were lots of people. We've had lots of fun, lots of interesting people. Made lots of money for the organization. As always, people attending the fair had an array of colorful booths to visit and goods to buy, such as heads. I make animal heads that hang on the wall like hunting trophies, only nothing has to die for me. And what do local celebrities Michael Brandon, Bevan Dufty, and Tom Orr have in common? A very special intimacy with Stephen Gibson and Magnet. Through their celebrity butt prints, of course. Well, we were inspired to do the anal royal shots for the butt prints because it's, uh, we weren't celebrating Take Back the Butt Month at Magnet during the month of October. Many of the booths were sponsored by Bay Area organizations such as Autos for AIDS that sponsor the ever-diligent fight against AIDS. And we're one of the charitable agencies that actually participate in the car auction donation program. The popular consensus on this year's fair? Definitely two thumbs up. I love it. I think it's fantastic. From the fun-filled streets at the 30th anniversary of the Castro Street Fair in San Francisco, I'm Joaquin Castillo reporting for QTV News Magazine. Hot music and hot Latin men help put the salsa into this year's 30th anniversary of the annual Castro Street Fair. This is our fourth year that's sponsoring this Latin stage and, and we produce the, uh, a show for the community. This noche just celebrate their 24th anniversary over this weekend uh, and, and we've been there in the same location for 24 years. As a result, Manuel sees where the Latin presence at the Castro Street Fair has grown dramatically over the years. Extremely, very, very much. And you'll be here again next year? I hopefully, I hope so. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you. Each year the main stage carries the main theme for the fair. Last year it was a Latin theme. This year, a tribute to Sylvester, the biggest star ever to appear at the Castro Street Fair in its 30-year history. Sylvester electrified the 70s, spreading life and fun with free-spirited performances. Impersonator Janelle watched Sylvester perform, and it changed her life. You're going through all these other things of finding who you really are. I was at the club, and I heard the stars, and I said, oh, no. <laughs> and the children would just go in, and they would dance, like, just life. Even as a superstar, Sylvester never forgot the Castro Street Fair. To the very end, Sylvester returned to perform each year and paid all expenses to come and celebrate in the Castro, though it was physically apparent he was dying from AIDS. One of the first times I came to the Castro was for the Castro Street Fair, and it turned out to be the last time Sylvester was here in a wheelchair, he was on stage, and I was absolutely in awe to have seen him and seeing that, and to be up here on this stage today at a tribute to him definitely was going on in my head. Nikki Starr was Sylvester's friend. She knew him when the music stopped, the lights faded, and the wigs came off. And it was just like a personal thing where it really wasn't the show personal Sylvester, but the person that sat me down and told me, this is what you want to do, this is how you have to do it, and if you're accepted or you're not accepted, you'll be more accepted if you go on into yourself. And I was glad that I was able to know the real Sylvester instead of the show Sylvester. From the Castro Street Fair, celebrating the life and times of Sylvester, I'm Dear Diva reporting for QTV News Magazine.